Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here with another gaming nostalgia story. This is where I play a game and I tell you a story that I have related to this game. Much like how you have scent memories where a particular smell can, can bring back uh, a specific memory or event, or song can make you remember a time in your life, I really feel that games are quite the same. Uh, and so uh, I have a lot of stories about games that I've played, and uh, this is a good way to share them. So, uh, this is Golden Axe 2. For those of you who don't know, it is a fantasy-style beat-em-up on the Sega Genesis and arcades. So, the story associated with this game is I first received this game from my godmother, of all people. Uh, one year for my birthday, she gave me uh, Golden Axe 2. She knew I was interested in like, swords and dragons and magic, and this game looked like it kind of fit the bill uh, from the cover art. She did give me kind of crap about the fact that the, uh, in a lot of fantasy setting, the, the women are uh, scantily clad and gave me crap for the fact that the, uh, the female character on the front cover of the, uh, of the game box was, uh, wearing less armor than one would want to go into battle wearing, but that's that's a story for another time. So, my godmother, she was the first uh, friend my family made when we moved to North Carolina, and she lived right next to us and became quite attached to my family, and over time became my, my godmother. But she was one of those people that... Uh, she didn't have any experience with, you know, video games or uh, tabletop gaming or a a any of that, really. But she made an effort, especially for me, uh, to learn about it. So this was her uh, her learning about video games. She gave me this game, and then after this, uh, we uh, spent a lot of time playing games on the Genesis together. Uh, we rented games like uh, cool spot. Uh, Mickey's Castle of Illusion. Uh, what else? What else did we rent? Uh, Pink Panther goes to Hollywood. Quack Shot. We rented a lot of games together back when you know renting games was still a thing, and that is that is how I introduced her to games. And the thing is, she was. She was very willing to learn. She was very willing to... This is... This is obviously something that... You know, you enjoy. This is uh, a hobby that you, you resonate with. So I, I want to learn about it. And she was always open-minded like that. That that helped... Uh, uh, make me realize, hey, Yeah, I like playing games. That doesn't mean I'm a complete dork. Well, I mean, I am a complete dork. But... You guys get where I'm coming at with that one. Uh, which was good, because it was good having uh, a godmother that uh, was that that easy to talk to about anything and everything. I was, I was able to talk to her about things that I felt uncomfortable talking to my parents about, which uh, helped out a lot, considering I, I was not the, the, <laughs> the most well-behaved of children for uh, a period of time, so having someone that I could go to and talk to about the things that I was getting myself into, or trying to not get into, uh, helped. It, it really did. It it allowed me to, you know, get out of some trouble before it started in a lot of cases. But she never, she never judged me or looked at me any differently. Which I I have to say I I, I loved because <laughs> it was so helpful having an adult in your life that didn't you know like she was looking out for my well-being but she wasn't she she knew she wasn't you know the 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 one in charge so she was giving me more real-world advice rather than parental advice which helped a lot. So, 
Uh, and it continued on for for several years. Uh, she was able to to continue growing and learning about uh, things that I was interested in that she didn't know as much about and only had you know some preconceived notions of uh, specifically tabletop gaming. After shortly after this, uh, I got into uh, all sorts of tabletop gaming like. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Shadowrun, GURPS, and she had she had known that uh, my dad, my brother, and my uncles played. And she was really interested when I got into it as well, because the only information she knew of it was isn't that you know linked to to you know devil summoning and demon worship and. Uh, Rituals, ritualistic, you know, suicide packs and things like that, and I, I just kind of laughed. Uh, there was one time that she was uh, she was taking care of me. My parents went out of town for a week, and uh, it was it was in the the period of time where I was in in and out of trouble. So my parents felt that you know leaving. Uh, for a week, I, I probably needed a chaperone, and I, to be honest, I did. <laughs> I needed a chaperone. I would have gotten in a lot more trouble otherwise. But she stayed uh, at uh, at the house with me, and you know, kept an eye on me, kept me out of trouble, and was kind enough to actually let me uh, run a gaming session while uh, she was there uh, over the weekend. And so my friends came over, and we we sat at the table, we got out our dice and, you know, our character sheets and all that, and she just kind of stood from the entryway. It's like, I just, I'm just curious. So we actually said, come, sit, and you can sit in and see what, what it is we do. And that way, you know, if you still have, you know, a notion of what this is a afterwards that you're not 100% sure on, we'd be more than willing to, you know, share with you what we know. And, uh, she sat in and watched us game, and much like Golden Axe here and the, uh, uh, the other games that we played together, she realized that it's, it's not, you know, the violence, it's not the magic, it's, she saw that we were having fun as a group, and we were, uh, as, uh, gamers of that age, like, we were we were writing our own campaigns, so she was very in intrigued at the fact that we were writing these stories. Uh, we're coming up with the plots and the, the counterpoints and the, the plot twists and all of that. And also that she was really impressed with the the problem solving and the, the way that we would think outside the box. It would, you know, confuse the hell out of each other just because we could. Uh, and that 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 really impressed her and it really impressed me that she was willing to do that to sit in and you know see something that most people just kind of just dismiss and I, I shouldn't have been surprised by it because she did the same thing with games and at the same time games were not uh, very well received we were in the, the time frame of like the original Mortal Kombat causing a lot of controversy and Night Trap and things like that, but she she had the 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 wisdom to see that it's not the hobby, it's the the people that make up the hobby that can give it a bad name if you know going unchecked. So it it really helped having someone like her around growing up. Uh, it really did. And, you know, unfortunately, this story is going to have a less than pleasant ending because I haven't seen her in over a decade. I, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but uh, it, there seems to have been some sort of falling out, um, some sort of situation where she didn't feel... Uh, I, I don't know if she felt uncomfortable or just didn't feel appropriate uh, staying part of our lives. I, I don't know, and that saddens me more than I can really say. Uh, 
because not only was she, you know, my 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 godmother, she was my mom's best friend, uh, and she helped me through so many, uh, so many instances in my life that ha just having someone to talk to made the situation appear so much brighter. So I, uh, I really hate that she's no longer a part of our lives. Uh, there have been so many instances in my life that I would have really loved for her to be a part of. Like, <laughs> again, going back to the I was probably not the best uh, well-behaved child growing up. There was a period of time where I was not 100% sure graduating high school was going to be a thing. And uh, I would have loved for her to have been there for that. And various uh, martial arts graduations and... Uh, getting married and buying a house and just all of the things that, you know, you life events that you like sharing with loved ones. Uh, it's always kind of made me a little depressed in the back of my mind that she's not there for these. And uh, maybe one day, you know, through happenstance, maybe I'll, my, my channel will become large enough to where uh, even people unassociated with with let's plays and YouTube gaming and live streaming, uh, you know, <laughs> that day when I reach you know Markiplier <laughs> level of uh, uh, popularity, that uh, she'll happen to come across one by happenstance and see uh, who it is on the other side of the screen, and maybe she'll even see this video and realize just how much of an impact she had. Uh, on a young man growing up. So. Can only hope. Uh, like I said, this didn't exactly have the happiest of endings, unfortunately. Uh, but that is... That is a sad fact of life. You know? But it's at the point now to where I... will always think of her when I play this game. Uh, anytime I hear... The music, any of the music, any time I think of Gilius Thunderhead, the the dwarf with the axe that I am playing right now, or Axe Battler, the the the, the barbarian. I for, I'm blanking on the the uh, female character's name. Uh, the only reason why I remember Axe Battler is because he got a really crappy. Uh, uh, and I say crappy, it's actually pretty good, uh, but it's it's terribly done. It's a uh, Game Gear game done in the style of Legend of. Uh, Legend of Zelda 2 uh, on the NES. Um, and that's the only reason why I remember uh, remember Axe Battler. So, anyway. Uh, anytime I think of anything uh, Golden Axe related, I will always think of my godmother. So, there is that. So, I hope you've enjoyed this gaming nostalgia story. Maybe you have a story about, you know, uh, a family member that you you change their opinions on gaming, or uh, someone a family member used to used to game with, or maybe still game with. Maybe uh, family get-togethers, you you break out, you know, uh, the NES or SNES or a Wii or a Genesis or, you know, just maybe you uh, huddle around a computer and play, you know, a, a game. I, I don't know, uh, but I, I'm sure you all have some stories similar to this, so I would love to hear them. I would love to hear your stories about how uh, uh, moments in your life uh, will be, you know, connected to a specific game, or uh, y you'll always remember something because of something that happened. Uh, uh, maybe a, a, a background character or a soundtrack or something to a game that just kind of stuck with you and, you know, followed you in, in, into uh, a, a memory later on in life. So, uh, let me know your stories. I would love to hear them. So, uh, in the meantime, I will see you all in the next Gaming Nostalgia Story. So, until then, later, everyone.